All right, so uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, guys. Okay, so before we start, I will be sending the... Um, a moment, guys. Huh? Yeah, uh, I will be sending your attendance here in our chat box. Okay, so um, this will be our, I think, last uh, meeting of discussion for this semester. So we will be uh, finishing the last two chapters for uh, this semester. All right, so I will be sending now the link for your attendance. A moment, guys. Ayan, so nakatin po yung uh, attendance nyo po dito sa chat box. So please um, fill out the form. And so habang hinihintay natin yung uh, namatapos yung mga classmates ninyo to um, uh, for their attendance, I will be introducing the reporters for today's discussion. Okay, so for uh, the last two chapters of uh, our meeting, okay, so uh, the reporters for today are the group seven headed by Mr. Vilia Floor. Uh, with uh, his team, uh, Ms. Parol, Hussein, uh, Douglas, Del Campo, Pangamiban, Brillantes, Sanchez, De La Torre, Lucero, and Soriano. Unfortunately, so, I think some of, oh, ba? yes, I think some of them are aren't able to to join the meeting. So um, they will be discussing the chapter eight, which is the uh, tour operators and travel agents. All right. And by the way, I will be I will be having an announcement after the two chapters of discussion. All right. So I will give the floor to the reporters, Mr. Uh, Billia Floor. Thank you. You may you may start your presentations now. Thank you. Good. Day. Oh, sir. And good afternoon, classmates in YouTube. We are the group seven assigned to report chapter eight, tour operators and travel agents. 
Here is Miss Robilyn Panganiban for introduction. Thank you. Um, good afternoon once again. The introduction of our um, report is we will be able to know what is the travel agency, the types of travel agencies, what is travel agent and its role, what is tour operator and what they do, connection of travel agency, travel agent, and tour operator. Last, the last one is how technology helps and affects tour op operating and travel agency. First, let's go with um, travel agency. Um, next reporter, please proceed. Thank you. Good afternoon po, sir. Good afternoon, classmate. Travel agency. Travel agency is a business that retails travel-related products and services, particularly package tours to customer on behalf of third-party travel suppliers such as airlines, hotel, hotels, tour companies, and cruise liner. Ang travel agency, ito ay isang agency na nagbebenta at nag ng booking para sa mga travelers, tulad ng hotel rooms, trips, and airlines tickets. There are also agency that serve as general say, agents for foreign travel companies, allowing them to have office in countries other than where their headquarters are, are located. Next po. And now we proceed to types of agency. There are three types of agency, multipools, manipools, and independent agency. Multiples are often owned by international conglomerates. Among the three agency, the largest is multipool. Kasi yung multipools ay binobo ng bilang ng national travel agency chains ay pagmamayari ng isang international conglomerates po. Halimbawa na lang mga ang Thomson Holiday, isang national chain na pagmamayari ng TUI ang German multinational. Hindi na bago sa large mass market tour companies ang pagbili ng controlling interest sa isang chain travel agent para makontrol ang distribution ng kanilang produkto. Ito ay tinatawag na vertical integration. Multiple agency. Multiple agency siya yung pinakamalaki kasi international travel agency yung hawk niya. Siya rin yung pinakasikat na agency kasi Halos nakikita siya kung saan-saan. Saka marami rin siyang inahandle na mga branches. Kaya din kilala sila kahit saan. Multiples is like McDo or Jollibee. Yan kasi ang dami sa isang lugar. Kasi chain of branches yan. Kaya madali for them na makuha yung market na nag-walk in. And mas mababa ang pricing nila as compare to independent and manipuls. Kasi bulto sila magbenta. Ang competition lang dyan ay pagmamay, pagpapasok if through internet ang pagbili. And the next reporter po, Mr. Kelvin Ocampo. Thank you po. Good afternoon po, sir, classmates. Money Pulse. <clears throat> Smaller travel agency that serve particular regions or districts. Manipos. Bali, ito pong Manipos, originated po siya sa Rome. Bali, why strategy po siya ng pagdi-divide ng region na gagawa ng task, depende sa kanilang field of expertise. Bali, kung may -re relate natin sila sa mga agency, ito pong Manipos, eh, part lamang din po ng isa pang mas malaking organization. Ang purpose lamang po nila ay mag-serve sa specific na region lang. Bali, kung kunwari, Region 4A po or Calabay Zone, sila po yung mag-arrange ng lahat ng possible activities ng customer nila bilang part po ng destination nila yung Calabay Zone. Bali, manipos din po yung magpa-plot mula po sa tutuloy ng customer, sa kakainin, sa sakyan, basta any possible activities sa Calabay Zone sa loob po ng period of time na kailangan silang i-accommodate. <clears throat> the next one is the independent agency. Single entrepreneur unit that usually caters to a special niche market or neighborhood. Bali, pag sinabi po natin special niche market, 
meron po silang focus sa specific market lamang. Kunwari, mga businessman po na mga businessman po na Chinese na gustong mag-travel sa Pinas. Siyempre, dahil specialty nga nila yung mga businessman na Chinese, mas madali na po nilang matatara kung ano po yung needs and wants ng customer po nila na yun. On the spot, neighborhood advisor on travel. So, kunwari po, naka-base po sa Pinas, itong independent agency natin na to, yung mga traveler po outside the country, e eh, pwede pong mag-seek ng advice sa ating agency dito. Example po regarding po sa COVID-19, yung mga rate ng case. Or pwede rin sa climate, kung anong best time of the year, maganda mag-travel dito. Pati na rin po yung mga emergency hotline number or anything na regarding sa trip nila na gusto nilang, <coughs> na gusto nilang malaman. Pwede po sila magtanong sa mga agency. Pwede rin po sa mga professional travel advisor na mismo nakaranas na po ng trip na yun. <coughs> They are recognized by the attractive poster of tourist destination in their show window. So pag sinabi po nating show window, dito po in-exhibit yung goods ng isang particular na business. So dito naman po sa travel agency, ang goods po nila ay yung mga destination. <coughs> mga destination. So kunwari, pumunta po yung traveler natin sa physical na tanggapan or, or sa mga website kasi nowadays, di ba, computer generated na. Bali po, nakapost po sa show window nila yung mga litrata ng destination. Example po sa Bohol. Malamang sa malamang po, Chocolate Hill po, tsaka mga Tarsier yun nandun sa show window nila. Or sa Cebu, yung mga whale shark or butanding. <coughs> They sell dreams and are important important partners of different agency in any travel plan. So, dahil nga po, nakabase po sa particular na sa particular na bansa itong mga travel agency na to, alam po nila yung pros and cons tsaka mga pointers ng any travel trip because they study to make things work para sa kapakanan ng mga travelers natin para may sakatuparan din po yung dating panaginip lang nila. So, that's all po for the types of agency. The next reporter will be Miss Shane Ann Crosem which will be presenting the travel agent. Yun lang po. Travel agent. Travel agent is a person engaged in selling and arranging transportation, um, accommodation, tours, or trips for travelers. They offer a range of holiday packages cons- for consumers, customers that have been put together by a tour operators. And... Travel agent is a person whose job is it is to arrange travel for end clients, individual groups, co- corporations, on behalf of suppliers. The suppliers will be hotels, airlines, car rentals, cruise lines, railways, travel insurance, and many more. And kung yung mga travel agent po, sila po yung nasa likod po ng mga travel agencies po. For example po, yung mga Nagpo-post po sa Facebook po kung nari po yung kapag may sale po yung flight. Tapos kapag po nag yung sa mga hotel po, ganun po. Sila po yung nagbibigay po ng mga accommodations or discounts po sa mga tao. And the next topic po is different agencies coordinated by a travel agent will be reported by Miss Brillantes. Different agents, agencies coordinated by a travel agent. First off, hotel. So, travel agents uh, arrange hotel accommodations for the clients or the travelers. Uh, like booking of rooms, uh, food, and amenities. Yun po. Yun po yung kung bakit sila connected sa hotel. And sa airlines naman, uh, travel agents arrange flights, uh, t- flight tickets, whether it's local or international. Dito na po papasok yung first class, business class, uh, standard, tsaka economy. Pero ang uh, most common po sa mga, yung mga packages na mas mura, pumapasok dito po sa economy yun. And first class, yun po yung mga, syempre, yung mga mahal-mahal. Yung mga <laughs> And sa immigration, Immigrations, of course, processes of visa, particularly those uh, who will travel abroad or known as the outbound travelers. Yun. Uh, travel agents will be the one who will, um, uh, will 
magpa-pro yung magpa-process po ng mga bagay niyo if the clients or the uh the get or the clients are not able to do it na hindi po nila magawa so travel agents will do it for them so next is railways railways ito na po pa, pag sa mga local countries or sa mga ano na mga travelers kung ayaw nilang mag airplane edi uh isasuggest po sa kanila ang railways or pwede rin namang uh, kumpara po kasi sa syempre sa airplanes mas mura po ang sa trains or sa mga ano and hindi siya ganun kamahalan comfortable din siya naman tsaka mas ano po kasi dito ang pinakahabal yung mga side ano ba yan mga side yung mga sightseeing na nakikita natin sa gilid habang wabiyahe yung train. Yan. Example po nung dito sa ano, yung mga habang biyahe is yung Manila to Naga City na trains or also na as the Bicol Express train. Yan. Sa river boat, river boat or ferries or yung mga local na Example po nito is yung to-go, tsaka yung roro or roll-on, roll-off ferries na bumabiyahe lang within uh, limited destinations. Yan. While, ano naman po, ang ocean liner, ito naman po yung pangmalakihan na, malakihang biyahe, mara, malak, maramihang passengers na po yung makakasakal. At saka mas malawak na po yung nakaka ano uh, napupuntahang mga lugar or bansa. Um, cruise lines opo. Pero sir, di ba po ano, magkaibang cruise cruise lines sa ocean liner. Kasi po ang ocean liner para ano po siya may schedule or may set ano po siya na kailangan makapunta siya sa destination niya within a week or ganon. Eh, ang, di ba po, ang cruise ships, more ano to, batagal po siya ng months? Well, uh, depends on the itinerary ng, ng mga cruise lines. Okay? But mostly, ang um, ocean liners and um, cruise lines, uh, they uh, have the same um idea or travel na ginagawa. So they uh, they uh, they go port to port from one country to different countries and across the ocean. Mm -hmm. Ah okay po. Okay, so next is yung rent a car agency. Rent of our agency. Plus, ito po yung ano, ina-arrange ng mga travel agents. Kunwari pag yung guest or yung client is gustong ano, gusto niyang ano yun? Ang car rental ano po kasi, mararent siya within few hours or few weeks. So, ito po dito yung gusto mong o ayaw mo mag, magkaroon ng kasama mag-travel or gusto mo mag-isa, ito naman po kasi, ikaw mismo yung mag-drive or pwede rin naman mag, ano ka, mag, uh, ikaw mismo yung mag-hire ng mag-drive para sa'yo. While ang, rad, ang road transport po, yung po yung mga van or yung mga bus na ina-arkila ng mga ano, na ina-arrange ng mga travel agents para sa mga, ano, mag, mga tourists or mga travelers na kahit hindi po sila magkakasama pero pag magta-travel magtutur po sila sa isang lugar isang van lang po yung ginagamit nila na with driver kasama na po yung driver ang rent a car agency po kasi ikaw mismo yung magda-drive ng car na yon or if you're ano kung magkakas kung family man kayong magta-travel then and, and cultural centers Ito na po, ito yung mga, ito yung Entramuros, 
national museums, mga mga museums natin dito sa sa Pilipinas. Papasok na po dito yung tourism department kasi lalo na po ngayon, di ba, limited lang po yung pwedeng mag-travel or yung mag-visit sa isang tourist spots or destinations. Eh ang ano po, Department of Tourism, sila yung nagsusustain na mga tourist destinations. Sila po yung nag regulate po ng mga tourist destination or tourist spots. So, kailangan po nila kailangan nilang i uh, ano ba tawag doon? I sabihin sa mga sa ano, yung mga yung nag nag-organize kung sino lang po kung ilan lang yung pwedeng makapunta kung limited kung ilang tao lang or makakapasok sa lugar na yun. Parang ganun po. Next po. Ayan. Role of travel agents, planning and selling accommodation insur insurance and other travel services. Ayan. Next. Ano ka na po. And cooperating with clients to determine their needs and advising them appropriate destination modes of transportation, travel, states, cost and accommodations. Yup. Uh, habang syempre po pipili yung mga clients ng mga um, ng mga ano nila kung, kung ano yung pupuntahan nilang lugar kanon. Eh uh, i-advise po sila ng travel agents kung ano po yung mas best sa kung ano man yung gusto nila. Providing relevant information brochures and publications, guides, local customs, maps, regulation, events, etc. to travelers. Kapag magta-travel po yung mga ano, bibigyan nila ng mga maps para kasi meron po mga ano, di ba, may iba sinasamahan ng tour guides, meron naman pong iba na sila lang po mismo yung nagta-travel. Next reporter, thank you po. Sino ba yung pag-reporter? Sino ba yung reporter? <laughs> ako, ako. Ayan. Sir Kelvin po. Ayan. Good afternoon po ulit. So, dahil wala po si Miss Realin Soriano, ako po mag-takeover ng part niya. Um, how do travel agents get revenue? Revenue. So, revenue po is the total amount of income generated by the sales of good or service related to the company's primary operations. So, ang primary operations po ng travel agency is to act as an agent. They sell travel products and service on behalf of, of supplier or whatever their customer demanded for a certain trip. <clears throat> so, pagsamahin na po natin yung the amount of commission, this may vary from 10% to 20%. Tsaka yung reservation quotas. So they are typically linked to each other since yung fixed price po para sa reservation quotas, doon po magkakaroon ng cut or revenue. Yung travel agent, which is may vary from 10 to 20% of the total amount paid by the customer. <clears throat> sa discount, ta meron naman pong discount tariff. So dito po hindi po ako sigurado. <laughs> so tariff is a form of tax or duty to be paid the to be paid on a particular class of import of export. So since import and exporting of good can also be a source of revenue by putting a tariff or tax on it, bali, nakadepende po sa mga top brass or yung mas mataas sa travel agent kung paano, kung paano po nila i-compute yung revenue or yung cut ni travel agent sa every discounted tariffs or exporting, so, or exporting and import, importing of goods. <clears throat> discount all right the question is how uh travel agents have or um um get the discount tariff na tinatawag dito okay ako um siguro sir dahil customer customer sila nung ano supplier mm -hmm. <laughs> okay sorry po yan sige po. Okay, okay lang so, yes, maybe. Pwede. Pwede silang magkaroon ng discount. For example, since they are the, um, uh, what do you call this, 
the regular uh, in ba travel, regular document uh, regular travel agents na nagpapadala sa kanila ng ng mga guests okay sila yung um, palaging kausap ng mga suppliers so pwede silang magkaroon ng discount in okay? ba and but this discount tariff na tariff nga di ba sinabi mo kanina it's the uh, what do you call this the taxes taxes di ba na na uh, nakukuha kasi they they um, they uh, we have uh, what we call the international um, agreement uh, mga uh, they call this i'm looking for the right term uh, sabihin sa inyo it's like an international rule that if you are a foreign travel agent okay you are not required to um, some sort of de- declare or um, a surrender the the vat or the tax for that specific country so na- doon sila nagkakaroon ng discount Kawanyan. For example, ako, travel agent ako dito sa Philippines. Okay. Once na ang clients ko are from the Philippines, okay, so I I am uh, obliged to to declare my income and so that uh, meron yung nakapatong na tax. Okay. But if my client or my supplier is uh, will be coming from a an international or foreign land okay kung sisingilan ko yung guest ko ng 100 pesos i am not uh, obliged to to surrender the tax na ma- ma- na makokolect ko for that specific um, services okay so in that sense magkakaroon sila ng discount tariff or hindi sila magbabayad ng ng tax for that, kung saan man nanggaling yung yung pera. Kung, for example, binigyan ako ng, or binayaran ako ng $100. Okay. $100 na yun, pag pinadala sa akin, sa akin lang yun. Okay, I will not, I will not inform, eh, hey, US, nagkaroon ako ng kita sa inyo, ito yung tax ko. Walang ganun. Okay, so may mga policies from uh, different countries and kapag ang, um, um, transaction mo is overseas or offshore. Okay? Next. <clears throat> um, policy on cancellation of bookings with penalty clauses. <clears throat> so, depende po sa travel agency kung ilang percent po yung i-return nila kapag nag-cancel po ng bookings. <clears throat> so, kunwari po, 10% yung return Eh di makeat po makeat po yung makeat po sa 90% ng binayad ng customer yung travel agent natin para po sa effort niya mag-arrange ng mga possible activity ng mga traveler. The next uh, one uh, is well, uh, one moment. Okay, sige, dun tayo balik tayo dun sa policies o policy on cancellation of bookings with penalty clauses. And lahat ng reservations po from rooms sa mga hotels sa mga flights Yan, sa mga tickets, may meron niyang uh, cancellation policies na tinatawag. Okay. Sa hotel pa lang, meron na yan. Okay. Um, mostly, uh, I think, ma- uh, i-discuss yan, yung uh, cancellation policies na yan sa, sa, um, anong, anong audit yan? Sa front office, na, uh, na topic sa mga susunod yung mga courses i-discuss yan, yung mga cancellation policies na yan. Hindi ko lang alam kung ako yung mag-discuss sa inyo pero uh, one of your uh, one of your instructors na magiging teacher nyo, i-discuss din yan. Okay? And so, yung 10% na binigay ni Mr. De Ocampo is the, um, medyo hindi yan realistic ha? <laughs> okay, Us- usually Sample lang yung Okay. <laughs> It's okay. Okay. Um, uh, usually yan, nag-range yung cancellation or yung yung mababalik sa sa uh, customer or sa client or sa guest. Uh, it's either, okay, 
nagre-range yan. Uh, yung mababalik sa, sa customer, ha? it's 80%, 50%, or 0. 0%. Okay? 80%. For example, uh, noong 2019, I booked uh, a flight going to to Korea. However, uh, kinansel ko yung yung flight ko kasi because of uh, personal reason. So, hindi ako natuloy. And so, ang nakuha ko lang na na uh, refund is uh, 80%. Okay? Uh, so, yung 50% naman na nabanggit ko is that usually yan um, sa mga hotel rooms. Okay? Sa so, mga airlines tickets there or other tickets 50% din yung refundable amount. Okay? And, or, zero. So, wala kang, mar uh, meron kasi mga bookings, may mga tickets na non-refundable. Once you pay the required um, down payment, it's non-refundable. So, for example, sa hotel rooms, kapag nag-book ka, and then, kailang, kaya kailangan binabasa nyo yung mga uh, policies, especially yung mga cancellation policies ng mga uh, reservations na ginagawa ninyo. Okay, dun yung malalaman na kung yung um, booking nyo ba, o yung ticket na binili nyo, o yung reservation na ginawa nyo ay uh, refundable. Okay? Um, sa mga hotels, meron silang inaalaw na days like for example, from 7 days to 14 days, once you cancel within that period, they will refund your payment 100%. But beyond that, it's either 50% na lang yung marirefund sa inyo or walang marirefund sa inyo. So that is the importance of reading the cancellation policies or other um, uh, policies doon sa reservations na ginagawa ninyo. Okay? And so, yung mga, yung hindi na i-refund sa na amount na pera, yun, yun, yun na yung magiging revenue ng mga travel agents. Sa kanila na yun, for the effort, the effort, tulad ng sinabi ni Mr. Dio Campo, yun yung effort na nung uh, travel agents, dun sila mas kumikita. Siyempre, wala naman silang ginawa, kundi nireserve lang yung ano, yung, yung ticket mo. Okay. Alright, question, clarification po from the other reporters, meron po ba? From the class, sa ating um, chat box, wala po ba? Alright, so Mr. Del Campo, uh, kindly proceed. Thank you. Okay, the last, the last one is the advance payment from travelers. Sir, dito po hindi ko po alam kung paano sila magkakaroon ng revenue. <laughs> Sensya na po. <laughs> Okay, si, diba, diniscuss natin yung uh, cancellation policy. Okay, for example, ang, ang ticket ko, or, sige, sabihin na natin flight ko. Ang flight ko going to Hong Kong, for example, is, will, uh, will be on January, uh, next month, January 9. Okay, so from now, bibigyan ako ng travel agents ng time para bayaran yung advance payment or um, down payment. It's either advance payment, advance payment of 100%. For example, ang ticket ko is 10,000. So, the travel agent will ask the 10,000 down payment or advance payment for my travel, for my ticket. Okay? And so, once I cancel my booking, and then, nakalagay dun sa, sa cancellation policy is non-refundable. Yung 10,000 na binigay ko sa travel agent ay mawawala na. Void na yun. Okay? So, dun sila magkakaroon ng revenue. Get? Nakuha po? Kasi hindi naman sila, for example, ano, mag sabi mo sa travel agent, ay gusto kong pumunta ng, ano, ng Hong Kong. Flight ko ngayon. Gusto kong umalis ngayon. Now na. Diba? 
hindi na sila makakakuha ng ano ng advance payment for that yung yung um, exact amount na yung makukuha nila or yung um, yung ticket the whole amount of the ticket or yung fee na sasabihin ni ano ni travel agent yung hihingin sa akin okay usually yung advance payment na yan is at only applicable for the future bookings okay so mga matagal na well, matagal pa like for example next week or two weeks from now three weeks from now one one month from from now two weeks from uh, two months from now and you know, or longer minsan pa ano one year in advance sila nagaano nagbubuk okay kasi syempre magtatrabaho na si travel agent to reserve the specific date specific itinerary na gusto mong gawin di ba so magtatrabaho na sila doon and so si travel agent maghihingi na yan ng advance payment for that specific travel right na naintindihan ko Uh, pa- parang ano siya, sir, no? parang reservation fee. Ayan, parang... reservations, reservation fee. Sir, may question po ako. Yes, Miss Panganiban, ano po yung question? Ano po? Um, kasi po, last year po, um, parang ano po ng pandemic, time po ng pandemic nun. Um, yung tita ko po kasi is nagbook po siya ng um, ticket from Canada to Philippines po. Mm-hmm. Tapos nakasal po yung flight niya gawa po ng pandemic tapos mm-hmm. hindi niya po pwedeng i-refund yung um, ticket niya though ano naman po ang sabi po sa kanya pwede niya pong magpabook siya ulit pero yes. dun po mismo sa airlines na yun correct yan um, sa mga reservations uh, may mga yan sa mga reservation policies okay hindi lang yan basta may cancellation bla 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 ganyan marami yan okay at kasama na diyan ang force majeure. Alam niyo ba yung force majeure? Uh, ano yung force majeure? Yung mga ano po, parang force po siyang maka-cancel yung flight or yung travel po due to natural um, disasters po. Yeah, very good Miss Panganiba. Okay, force majeure are or in other terms in other term is act of God. O, di ba sinisi pa si God? Uh, pero uh, force majeure comprises of the natural disa- natural phenomena, natural disasters like earthquake, typhoon, um, landslide, ano pa? Ayan, kasama na dyan, well, ma- uh, hundreds of years ago since the last pandemic bago mag- mag- magkaroon ng COVID-19. So, yung mga papers na before pandemic is walang pandemic na nakalagay dyan. But, It is also included sa uh, force majeure na category. Okay? So, since uh, it's force majeure, pandemic is a force majeure. Uh, one more thing is the eruption of volcanoes. Like, like uh, katulad nung nangyari sa, sa Taal. Diba? So, yung mga reservations namin, cancelled lahat yon. Wala kaming, uh, lahat yun, uh, it's either i-refund namin or ipapa-rebook. So, ganun din sa nangyari sa tita ni Miss Pangamiban. Okay, since it's force major, okay, uh, it's non-refundable kasi it's the policy, it's non-refundable. But in uh, in and for consideration of the uh, global pandemic that happened, that is happening right now, okay, so kasama siya sa, sa policy. Okay, it's non-refundable, hindi mo pwedeng i-refund yung pera na binigay mo sa amin, pero for the consideration, pwede mo siyang uh, i-rebook. Pero, i-rebook mo lang siya doon sa, sa, uh, sa same airline na kung saan mo, ano, hindi ka pwede mo uh, pumili ng ibang, ano, ng ibang airline. Kailangan doon lang. Okay? Yes, ano daw yung sabi? Sir, nakadepende po yun sa agencies. Um, kapag mga ganitong, ano, uh, yung, uh, for example, yung pandemic, okay, most especially nung, nung mga bago-bago pa lang. Okay. Um, I believe the government or uh, all for uh, all government uh, uh, nationwide or uh, not nationwide worldwide. Okay. Uh, minandate nila yung mga ganitong ano kasi it's it's a force majeure nga. Eh. 
Okay, sa mga cancellation. Yes, kasama din po yung mga airlines. Ganon din po. Pwede, hindi nila pwedeng i-refund, pero pwede nilang i-rebook. Kung kailan pwede nang mag-rebook. Actually, nung ano, nung uh, uh, January 2020, we are supposed to go to Hong Kong that time. Tapos biglang nag-erap yung taal. So, uh, ni-rebook namin. And then, nirebook namin uh, February, hindi pa rin pwede mag-travel. Gawa nga na umuusbong na tong COVID. Nirebook namin ng March, tapos pagdating ng March, ni-lockdown tayo. So, hindi na natuloy yung Hong Kong namin. Ayan, ganun siya. Okay? Any other clarification? Question po? Wala? Wala na? Okay, sige. Next tayo. Ay, ano daw? Mayroon pa ba? Sir, limitations po ng pagre-rebook. Um, de yan, depende na yan sa, ano, sa, tra uh, sa airlines, sa hotel, tra or travel agencies. Okay? Pwede, mo, pwede kasing uh, i-rebook mo lang siya once or twice. Okay? Or until na maging uh, open na ulit ang mga airlines, ang mga hotels, yun. Know. So, may limitations din yan. Uh, depende sa policy na na ibibigay ng mga suppliers. Yung mga suppliers natin are the train stations, hotels, uh, airlines, crews. Depende po. Kasi each company has its own uh, policies and uh, rules and regulations when it comes to their book. Okay? Anything else? Sa ating mga uh, tahi, tahimik yung mga nanonood sa atin. So, wala silang mga question. Okay. Sige. Next tayo. Okay. Thank you po, sir. That's all for how does a travel agent gets revenue. The next reporter will be Miss Sandel Porol. Tour, tour operators create, operate, and organize package tour or pack. Create, operate, and organize package, package tours or package holiday. So, yung ano po is package tour or excursion or holiday switch package. A variety of services together to make a single combined trip. Commonly po, they combine such thing as transport, accommodation, and meals. They, they may also include a provision of a tour guide and or leader. Tour can be long or short in duration and distance. So they may be one day or overnight package or they could be a period of month or more. Next po is referred as retailer. Retailer naman po is the sale of goods and services to consumers in con contracts of wholesaling which is sale to business or institutional customers. A retailer purchases good, goods and large quantities from manufacturers directly or through a wholesaler and then sell in a small quantities to consumers as a profit. Tapos next po is they have contracts and negotiate to the hotel sites and etc. for more cheaper price. Contract negotiate Negotiation is a process of coming to an argument argument uh, on a set of legally binding terms. Here po, we'll focus naman po siya on negotiate between two companies. When two companies negotiate, both parties seek to obtain favorable terms and minimize financial, legal, and operational risk. Next po is yung tour package. Holiday popularity known 
known as a tour package or simply the word tour in the travel and tourism industry refer either to a package tour escorted or not escorted by the tourist guide. So when we say tour package, it means a pre-arrangement, pre prepaid trip that combine two or more travel components like airfare, airport, transfer, accommodation, and other services. So, ito po yung variety on the season ng tour, ng package tour. Hotel lodging, tourist site, souvenir shop, restaurant, adventure, adventure camp, amusement park, small business. Example po is yung local community dance group. Next Short background history of tour operators and tour operating. Thomas Cook was a passionate, passionate man who was born into a world where most working class people work long six days a week and never traveled more than 20 miles from their hometown. Thomas could be begin work at age 10. Laboring in a vegetable garden for one penny per day. But when a lot of determination and hard work, this working class man could eventually build one of the largest travel companies in the world. Yun po yung tinatawag nilang Thomas Cook and Son. Then, Cook started foreign tour in Italy due to decline of Tours after World War II. This package includes various accommodation meal and bus buses and only available to health and they failed. So yun po, yung, the comp yung company po, nag-fail po siya to clear the burden of 1.1 billion pounds that had almost destroyed it when 20, 2011. Tapos po yung Legacy po na nagawa ni Thomas Cook is siya po yung frontrunner of establishing tourism system na, na nag, ginawa niya pong posible yung tourist sa Italy. Yung una niya pong ginawa is yung ticket na maaring gamitin ng halos lahat po ng release ng trend sa Italy. Yung this ticket allowed travel by train for a present number of days along predetermined routes. Next po, is, yung pangalawa po is nag-design nag po si Cook ng isang serya ng mga coupon ng hotel upang kumakma sa mga circular ticket na maaaring ipagpalit para sa hotel at meal ng mga tinatawag na accommodation. Yung last po is he introduced the circular, circular notes that which could be changed and designated hotel banks and tickets agent for Italian. Yun po yung lira. Yung lira po yung tawag dun. And predetermined exchange rate. Cook introduced uh, of tourism specific currently fascinated Iris and effective trip within, within Italy. Almost po by introducing a uh, widely disappeared coupon system ni, ng, ni Cook, nag, ano po yun, nakatulong po yun para ma-stabilize and mapag-develop po yung economy ng Italy. And <coughs> not only by increasing and revenue, revenues from tourism, but also by expanding the circulation of Italy. With, ano, Italy nyo currently, yun po yung lira. Tapos yung coupon po, yung coupon po naging sistema siya po ng spread ng rapidly and well and was well accepted throughout Italian city. Next po si Vladimir Vladimir Ritz naman Ritz naman po is he was an Russian born born co-founder of the Horizon Holiday Group who was the first mass package holiday abroad. 
Noong 1950 naman po, there was an historic moment in British and Europe so Europe social history. Nag, nangyari po siya sa Dakota, converted from military use to carry 32 passenger through touchdown in Corsica, carrying British history. British history visitor they had flown for six hours from the little airport at that week to a former American military Tas, naging first to be affordable tour and tour and accessible to middle class Russia next Dynamic packaging, a concept called after the changing profile of customers. This refers to a trip or vacation with a pick and mix function that customer can book. So, yung dyno pack, dyno, dynamic packaging is a method of creating deals or package based upon the components selected by the customers. <coughs> Next po is yung individual traveler travel traveler who, who plan their own trip and prefer to travel alone or in a small group so yung FIT naman po ano po siya sa foreign independent tour but now it is almost commonly used to describe a fully independent traveler or tourism you must also see them from FIT used to mean free independent traveler, frequency, frequency independent traveler, or foreign independent foreign independent traveler. So yun naman po yung tourist na nag-define po siya sa pwede ko pong mag-travel ng solo or kasama mo po yung asawa mo or small in imitate group or friends or family next reporter po will be miss Robilin. um what is the connection of tour operate um operator or operation and travel agent in this chart we will see the supplier tour operators and travel agent First, um, supplier, um, it is an organization that coordinates or supplies travel, travel services for us. Um, travel supplier means the tour operator, hotel, rental company, um, cruise line, or airline that provides prepaid travel um, arrangement for the insure, insured trip. Next is the tour um, operators. Um, tour operators and um, tour operators po like yung mga sinasabi nga nung mga nauna um, it is some someone who organize or prepare and runs a holiday a holiday tour um, if you book a tour which includes accommodation uh, transport um, breakfast tour guides and sightseeing this is organized by the operator Next is the travel agents. Travel agents or uh, travel agency, it is a company who plans, arrange, um, or books and make the necessary arrangement for travel travelers. They sell flights, accommodation, and tour, uh, and tour, and package them together for travelers who don't wish to book themselves. Um, magkaka, magkaka, um, magkaka, ang tawag na ito? Basta po magkaka, ano po sila, kasi po, yung supplier, oh, ayun po, nakakonect sila. <laughs> kasi po, yung suppliers po, yun po yung um, nagbibigay ng mga, mga, um, Airlines po, kagaya po ng mga hotels, airlines, mga restaurant po. Sila po yung nagbibigay sa tour operator 
para po um, ma- mag mag ma-organize po nila yung isang travel. Um, while naman po yung travel agent, sila po yung kumu- kumukuha ng pinrepair ng mga tour operators po. Next reporter po, please. The technology. Technology refers to methods, systems, and devices which are the result of scientific knowledge being used for practical purposes. So, ito yung mga kasangkapan o makina o proseso na nakakatulong sa paglunas ng mga suliranin ng tao o kung sa madaling salita, ito yung, mas, ito yung nagpapadali ng trabaho ng isang tao. Next slide po. Question. How technology affects tour operation and travel agent? The first one is, it increases distribution channel. Dahil nga sa technology, mas napapataas o mas nadadagdagan ito yung distribution channel o yung tinatawag din na chain of businesses na kung saan ang mga produkto at mga serbisyo ay dumadaan sa ma- hanggang sa marating nito ang mga customers. Like for example na lang, yung product na magmumula sa producer o sa manufacturer, dadaan muna siya sa wholesaler o yung mga bultuhan kung bumili at dadaan din sa retailer o yung mga by pieces o yung mga tingi-tingi bago makarating sa customer o sa consumer. Ayun po yung tinatawag na distribution channel. Next, it increases public relation. Technology is also helping public relation be more effective by cutting out unnecessary steps o yung mga hindi naman na kailangang mga hakbang. With these tools, among many others, public relation can rest assured that they can dedicate their time to building their company's reputation or combating a crisis communication issue rather than wasting their efforts on redundant tasks. Next, it, it increased proficiency o yung kausayan o yung pagiging knowledgeable ng isang tao. Hindi naman porkit marami ka ng alam, eh hanggang doon na lang po yung alam mo. Dahil sa technology po, mas nadadagdagan yung kaalaman o yung pagiging eksperto ng isang tao. Next, it, it improved efficiency. So, It's about make efficiency is about making the best possible use of resources. It refers to the peak level of performance that uses the least amount of inputs to achieve the highest amount of, of output. Efficiency requires requires reducing the number of unnecessary resources used to produce a given output including personal time and energy. Like for example na lang po sa mga factory po, kung wala pong technology, mano-mano po ang paggawa sa mga produkto, ito po ay mas nakakaubos ng oras o mas matagal kung gagawin. Pero kung sa tulong ng technology, mas napapadali at mas napapabilis ang gawain ng walang nasasayang na oras. Next, it improve profitability o yung kakayahang kumita. The degree to which a business or activity yields profit or financial gain. Sa pamamagitan ng technology, mas nagkakaroon ka ng kakayahang kumita dahil naipopromote mo ang iyong produkto at naipapakalat ito dahil sa technology. Next is, it is use of digital marketing. Marketing that uses internet and online-based digital technologies 
tulad na lang ng mga desktop computers, mobile phones, and other digital media. Next reporter, Mr. Francis Delator. The internet, the internet is a communications channel through cyberspace. It has been recovery woven into our everybody, everyday life. It is an integral part of work of school. For some, it is a primary means to stay in touch with family and friends, to pay bills or to do their baking. Banking. Ito po, sir. Sobrang halaga po talaga po ng internet niya kasi po, sir. Dahil po sa internet, nag po, kaya po natin makipag-communicate, sir, sa ibang lugar, sir. Kahit po nasa bahay lang po tayo, sir. Pwede po natin silang i-video call, sir, tawagan. Tapos tulad po nito, sir, yung ginagawa po natin, sa kanya-kanya lang po tayo mga bahay, nag-collect po tayo, sir, through internet. Ay po, pati po pag paggawa ng mga activity, sir, through internet din po, sir. Tapos, pwede rin po tayo magbayad ng mga bill, sir. Bill ng kuryente, sir, through ano, sir? Through internet. Through internet. Sir, pwede ko po siyang i-help. Um, yung internet po, um, magagamit po siya sa um, pag-travel. Kasi po, um, through internet po, pwede na po tayo ngayon mag-online booking. Tapos, uh, makaka-help din po siya, kagaya po nung naunang report. Um, pwede po siyang gawing advertising para mas malaman agad or mas maging aware yung mga tao if may promo yung um, isang airline, hotels, or kung ano pa man po. Um, tsaka yung internet po, um, makakatulong po to agad para mapadali po sa atin or sa mga tao na makita yung mga bagay-bagay po. It is the global network of network of interlinked computers operating on a standard protocols which allows data to be transferred between them. As an information system, the most important aspect of the internet is its connectivi connectivity, the ability to allow everyone to access the network. On internet. Ang internet daw po ay tinutulungan tayong kumunekta sa bawat isa sa pamamagitan ng network, sir. Tapos, yung, yung, yung internet rin po nagbibigay rin po sa atin ng ano, sir, ng, ng mga ano, sir, mga, ng mga warn, warn, sir, sa ano, sir. Tapos nakatulong din po ito upang makuha natin ng sapat na informasyon na kailangan natin sa pangaraw-araw, sir. Yun Next report, Opo, sir. Next report, si Albert po, sir. Web market. The process of using... Kasama po yan, sir, eh. Opo, sir. Kasama po. Web market. The process of using the internet to market your business. It includes the use of social media, search engines, bloggings, videos, and email. Tulad na lang po sa social media, yung pagpupost po ng mga products sa Facebook at yung paglalive, paglalive, ano po, paglalive 
selling o yung online selling na tinatawag sa pamamagitan ng social media na ibibenta mo po ng yung mga product mo ng mas madali. Tulad na lang din po sa mga resorts and yung mga hotels. Meron po silang mga FB pages na doon po sila nagpo-post ng mga informasyon tungkol po sa kanilang mga ano po, yung mga tulad na lang po ng mga pictures ng mga kwarto, nagkakaroon po ng informasyon yung mga tao na mag na mahikayat na mag ano po, mag sa nagkakaroon po ng informasyon yung tao para mas maintindihan nila kung paano at kung ano yung mga proseso paano mag pumunta o mag ano, ano ba yung word na yan? pumunta o mag in po sa mga hotel yun lang po next po is sandel porol Question, how does E-Trade influence tour operators, travel agency, and customers? Electronic trading such as, such, which is a method of trading securities such as stock and bonds, foreign exchange, or financial liber- derivative via computer. So, yung ano nga po, yung electronic trading po, yung parang siyang Paano po siya? Parang ang online lang po yung nagiging way of trading po. Next po is the use of internet to increase business by offering offering your service or product to a larger number of customers through a website. Yung use naman po ng internet, parang mas napapadali po yung business sa tulong po ng internet kasi nagkakaroon po siya ng chance na ma-promote yung business niya through social media or website. O yung website po, best example po siya. Best example po dito yung is yung pag-share sa Facebook. Parang pwede po siyang gawing way yon para mas marami kang mahikayat na customers since madami na tao po yung gumagamit ng Facebook. So, there's a possibility po na lumaki yung number of customers. Next po. Influence. <clears throat> Operator operating adapt how E-Trade works. So, yun. So, yun. Nag-a-adopt siya kung kung paano gumana ang e-trade. As mentioned before nga po, it's an online trading of stock. Ngayon, tour, ngayon po, yung tour operator has an access sa kung anong mga available sa market na pwedeng ilagay sa travel package. Hindi na nila po kailangan i-keep na maraming files at tawagan sa tawagan yung iba't ibang airlines, restaurant, hotel, and etc. po. Next po is airlines, hotel, restaurant, tourism spot, and many more are now linked to global distribution. So, yun naman po. Alam naman po natin na most of business ngayon ay merong mga website na website po or page because it's that par- because of that po nagiging mas madali po yung pag-access po niya then next po is customer can now easily compare the price of flight accommodation food and etc since nga po it's easily accessible customer or traveler now na po pwede na po yung i-compare yung price whether pwede silang mag pwede po silang makatipid pwede po silang makatipid next po is travel can sort their own package travel for free so 
yung ano po nito is <clears throat> mas since nga po nakakompare na nga nila yung it's either pwede na silang gumawa ng sariling plan for their trip or contract a travel agency para sa trip nila. So, yung ano po ng travel ng e-trade is napapadali po yung buhay ng tao, hindi lang po ng tour operator, ng travel agency, kundi pati din po ng travelers. Yun lang po. That's all po, sir. All right. So, actually, yung... Uh, okay, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Villaflor, for having a good uh, discussion regarding the uh, travel agencies and tour operators. Okay? Pa-close po muna ng ano, presentation. Okay. And... Um, all right, so before we end this uh, discussion, I will be sending the link of your quiz dito sa, top chat, uh, sa chat box natin. All right, so I will be giving you um, uh, 15 minutes to answer the quiz kasi maiksi lang yan. All right, so please um, wait my one moment, guys. Okay, so here is the link for your quiz. 15 minutes is more than enough for you to uh, to answer this uh, quiz and then kindly take a screenshot of uh, if you are done with this quiz and then we're we are going to uh, to proceed to the next report okay so 15 minutes starts now so at exactly 2, uh, 40, 50, 250, kaya yan, 250, we're going to start the next uh, discussion, the next topic, ha? Okay, thank you. Uh, reporters, thank you so much for uh, having a very good uh, discussion regarding tour operators and travel agencies. Um, yung web marketing is actually sa kabilang grupo yan napasama lang dun sa pdf na binigay ko sa inyo but okay lang yan and uh, the uh, further discussion and elaboration of web marketing will be discussed of uh, will be di discussed by the next reporters okay so um, please uh, Mr. William Floor and the uh, uh, whole team kindly uh, stay tuned po dun sa announcement natin sa ating GC ha kasi you are uh, uh, you need to to attend the class of the last chapter and also you have to take the quiz of the chapter 9 okay sa so chapter 8 lang po kayo except okay Maraming maraming salamat and have a good day. Ah, see you later pala. <laughs> okay, see ya, see ya. Thank you. You can leave the meeting room now. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. William Floor, I will be sending you a message. Sir, William Moore po, sir. William Moore pala, sir. William Moore Air Base. Sige. William Moore. Thank you po, sir. Thank you. I will be sending you a message. Ha. Thank you. Sige po, sir.